All right, hey there friends. Today we are going to be resetting this Netgear BDSL modem. The model number is the DM200. Uh, again, this is a very simple process. We're gonna do that right now. Now remember, before you do this, you do need to make sure you have the default administration uh, passwords and login information for this. That should have come with your instruction booklet, or you can just Google this and find those specific credentials for this specific model. Okay, so the only tool you're gonna need uh, for this job is one of these uh, little, this is actually a SIM card key to a phone, but any kind of uh, small little pointy object that you can use uh, will actually work just fine. So again, with uh, the, the modem in the on position, I've just got it basically plugged in and we have the on switch uh, turned on. That's all you really need to, uh, to have enabled. And basically we're gonna come down here to this middle section and on there you're going to see that there is a little reset button. It's really small, it's just a little hole there. And we're just gonna take our key here and we're gonna push it in. You'll feel a little button to press. And we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Now on the front, there's gonna be a series of lights that reboot. You can see that the light is resetting there, and now we know we can actually take it off. So that is a full reset right there. Again, you need to wait just a few more seconds here, and this thing will recycle and come back on. There you can see the green light come on. Again, it'll take just a couple more seconds as it's connecting, looking for a signal, and we get that green power button. Okay, there you can see we've got that green light. Now again, we're not connected to anything with this. It's just uh, operating on the power on position, but a full recycle has now been complete. So that's all you really need to do. Remember to find your default credentials, both the login and the passwords uh, in your instruction booklet if you've kept that, or you can actually Google this model number and find it on the internet. All right, friends, if that has helped, would you guys hit this thumbs up button? For me, it helps us make more great videos and hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot more tech tutorial videos coming up really, really soon. Thanks for watching.